Um, the recovery, the Greek recovery is very fragile. Of course, the banks recently passed um, the stress test, but uh, the unemployment rates remain high. And the biggest problem that the country faces is massive disinvestment. What Greece needs right now in order to uh, jumpstart its economy, it's an investment shock. However, uh, that's very difficult in a very high taxation environment. And perhaps uh, after the end of the memorandums, the taxation policy can be rethought. And of course, structural reform in Greece, apart from the expenditure uh, cuts and the fiscal savings, has been scarce. So what uh, Greece needs is meaningful structural reform as well, so that it becomes more friendly to investors, domestic investors, but also foreign investors. And of course, the EU should think about a meaningful investment package in Greece. Infrastructure is breaking down. There is no reason to see next a tragedy of the kind that we saw in Italy and Greece. There is lots of room for infrastructure investment, which will jumpstart the uh, economy. Otherwise, the, uh, the future is pretty grim. There is a, a social crisis. The unemployment rates have not recovered. Okay. Greek incomes have been uh, more than halved. So yeah. in the first Professor. three, four... Yeah, you're saying because because there's now an improvement, let's say, in the banking and the financial uh, point of view. But then from a people's point of view, it's still very difficult. How quickly do you think that can turn around? Well, um, in order to turn around, there is uh, the Greek economy needs to pick up. Otherwise, in the first week of instability, the markets will sense blood. The Greek, um, the Greek uh, bond yields will go up again. And a uh, talk of a new bailout package and a new memorandum will return. What really Greece needs now is an investment shock, an investment bleach. If that doesn't right. happen, given also the fact that some of its problems are not its own, but generic uh, Eurozone problems, the, uh, the Greek crisis uh, will return, I'm afraid. Even though it's, of course, very positive, the fact that Greece is out of the memorandums after eight years, but it's out of the memorandum having lost more than uh, a quarter of its uh, gross domestic product. And um, the humanitarian crisis right. has abated, but not to the extent that one would feel comfortable with.